Okay, we're in the shop here today uh, to show you a tele board that is used for uh, mono skis. Oh, there she is now. Okay, of course these aren't just used for mono skis, but some mono skiers that have found that this is the board for them. Okay, this board is it's nice and wide. I could measure it for you, but I think you can see in relation to the binding that is on this thing. Just look at how wide that is. I think I pull the stick out here. Stand by. Sure. Ah, well, well let's, let's try to see under what would be foot. We have to call this under sled, though. Okay. So this would be under sled. Uh, where the heck is my 60? Okay, so then we're going to go to 70. So that would be 100. And so then we're going to, uh, I don't know, 20 something, 23 after that. Or I'm sorry, so that would be 70. It would be 110, 20, 30. So you got 130 underfoot with this. And it only gets hugely fatter at the at the front here uh, let's take a look at the front okay we'll start it at the 50 line so that's a that's a hundred 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 oh wait wait oh jesus criminy the tip of this thing i'm sorry about i have such a hard time with it is the tip of this ski is a little better than 185 it's about 180 about 185 at the tip now this ski is not uh unstout it's it's quite a stiff ski it's got uh i mean it's not soft okay so and it's huge now what I really want to show you, although these are, are, uh, are a 1400 or a 14 den uh, uh, piece here, okay, uh, still for a mono skier, they do not want the toe to release at all. So this is what the guy has done. I gave him this binding and then he did this. This is hard to see. Okay, there we go. Okay, he's drilled the marker binding which has the stainless steel plate here and when when the binding releases this entire plate slides one way and it slides the other way it's integral in its release so with the marker he was able to lock up the binding from releasing by by putting this pin in here and uh, it has a like a hex key top on it it's hollow screw and he's drilled that thing down through there. So effectively, this uh, toe piece is just not going to release. And uh, obviously, okay, he's had to drill a small hole up into uh, his plate that comes off the uh, the sled. Okay, so it's not a ski boot even, but it's just a how he hooks to the sled. So now in combination between the, the hole and that that this rides up into and and keeping this on a 14 and the screw all that anyway so that pretty much effectively makes him not releasable in the toe at all so nice modification i'm not real sure how one might do that with another type of binding like uh, when we look at uh, solomon binding for example okay which is this is a not all solomons are made the same but this type is a really good binding these spherical bindings you know these are what i really like for race because you can adjust it up and down and really tighten down but to be honest with you i mean somebody's probably done it but i'm not sure how you would the way this binding works i just don't see a way that you would be able to make this toe unreleasable so the marker may be a great uh choice now of course these other companies are coming up with the uh bindings that don't release at all so okay i just wanted to wanted to show you this uh, specifically for the guys who are 
looking for skis for mono skis. Now the technology is coming along, this and that, and there's going to be more specific stuff for mono skiers. But I'm telling you right now, this Tele board, the reason this guy says he really likes it is because it's so fat. He's put a little plate on it too, which is, you may not even need that. But uh, because it's so much fatter underfoot, when he leans his ski over to turn his sled, he doesn't hit the sled on the snow so soon. And this guy likes to get some extreme angles. So uh, might consider this. Okay, there you go, uh, mono skiers. And, over there from Epic Ski. I hope you guys, uh, well, I hope this makes sense to you. And I hope that uh, maybe you'll investigate the telly board and you'll be able to raise some money for the gentleman in question. You get him one of these. Okay. Uh, I was remiss in telling you one thing on this video. We I talked all about how the, the toe piece was locked up. His ski's in the hot box now, so... But this is another marker and you see where he drilled through up here, etc. Uh, what they do, and I'm sure you've probably already seen this, but uh, I noticed that he did not have any holes drilled in his binding back here. And normally what I've seen the mono skiers do, and give me just a second, I'm going to snap this, this thing down, see if I can do it. Uh, I'm going to have to release the camera. Oh, this is going to be too loud. Hang on. Yeah, okay, those those marker bindings, man, even on a DIN of 5, it is so hard to push that heel piece down, you know, with your hands. Uh, so anyway, what I've seen them do, and with this binding, I don't know, I've seen this on other bindings, and they, what they do is then they throw, okay, pretend this was a clevis pin. They throw a clevis pin through here, or it's here. Anyway, so it kind of like ends up coming through there like this, you know. And uh, this one is not contacting uh, at all down here. So maybe this isn't the ideal binding to do this. But maybe that's what he's doing. Because I don't think that would work there. Uh, because it looks to me like it's going to work. But what they do anyway, long story short, is they're trying to lock, find a way to lock up that heel. And some of these guys have found it. Like I said, this screwdriver is not fitting through this, this slot here. But I could see a pin that would be small enough to do that. So anyway, that's the other thing they're doing. They're pinning the rear uh, binding, too. Okay, but that new company is making a binding that doesn't release at all. So maybe your ticket soon. Bye.